Ahoy guys and welcome back once again to I Like Watches 2 and welcome to another first impressions video. These San Martin watches are coming thick and fast aren't they? Unfortunately I think it's unlikely I'm going to have time to produce full reviews of these two watches prior to or even during the next big AliExpress sale so I thought it would be good to get some content uploaded. I'm just showing you these watches and sharing with you my first impressions. I'll do one at a time. So let's start with this one. Right, what we have in here. This is... Ah, now I knew this was going to be in one of these tubs. So look what I've got on the wrist. This is the Quartz original watch. Obviously, this watch is paying homage to this watch so yeah i've been looking forward to seeing this one um right this is the sn023 it costs 297 us dollars 319 euros at the moment 280 british pounds three color options sterile as well um, is available if you're interested the movement inside here is the miyota 9039 very nice right let's get the plastic off and take a quick look right there we go i've removed all the plastic giving it a quick wipe just putting some power into this automatic movement it looks like it's the miyota 9015 actually not the 9039 there is a ghost position on the crown let me just move the hands to almost 10 past 10 and there it is a beautiful color dial actually very nice sunburst dial um yeah this one's quite dark isn't it it's also sunburst um, but those colors are quite different butterfly clasp seems nicely made the finishing seems very very nice um, quite a small crown but it's signed you've got the applied logo on the dial as well the hands do look different actually um, automatic 100 meters of water resistance um, the bracelet feels very nice um, really good articulation it looks like they are push pins probably pin and collar but i'll find out in a minute and you've got some half links look amazing amazing oh double ended quick release spring bars i think that's the first time i've ever seen that on a san martin how cool is that although how useful is it actually because well it's an integrated bracelet isn't it it's not like you're going to be able to fit a leather strap on there i wonder if they are going to offer um, some sort of link that will allow you to put a leather strap on this that would be cool actually if they did that right let's get the bracelet adjusted and get it on the wrist and here it is then on my seven and a quarter inch ish wrist um definitely a fairly strong homage this one um in some areas um pretty much identical to the original watch um, but in other areas um they have made a few subtle changes um, mainly to the dial i think um, but I'll run through all that um, when I do the full review and sort of mini comparison between um, this one and the original. Very impressed. Love the colour of the dial as well. Nice, strong sunburst effect. Yep, impressive. Impressive movement as well. Nice. In here then we should have the SN0105 at this moment in time. And this is their latest release. It's going to cost you 155 US dollars, 163 euros, 143 British pounds. It contains the NH35. It is a homage watch of another watch that's also got freckles on the dial right let's get the plastic off and have a look and there it is then what an interesting watch to pay homage to um yeah i was not expecting to see this one on the official store on aliexpress um yeah don't forget guys there are affiliate links to these watches in the video description should you be tempted to pick up these watches now or in the sale um, if you pick them up in the sale just pop them in your basket and um, check out during the sale um, this channel will benefit from the commission so thank you so so much and you guys will still get the discounted prices it's aliexpress that pays the commission not you guys um, but yeah thank you for your wonderful support nice polished buckle signed san martin nice case profile look at that beautiful brushing a rather large signed crown, very nice piece of 
uh, double domes hmm interesting distortion on the crystal isn't it there's definitely some distortion there so it's not a true piece of double domed sapphire but it will be sapphire crystal blue ar coat and look you can see that and interesting hands as well and um yeah the dial it's all freckly it's a sort of creamy color um not much on it is there really um train track around the outside some numbers san martin printed under the 12 um yeah beautiful case though and really interesting bezel look at that look at the curvature on the bezel um, i've seen a bezel just like that recently on the hootman i think it is the new hootman watch um i was sent a prototype and there is a very similar bezel strap seems nice enough um very simple very plain bit of stitching um it's quite sort of creaky and leathery um but yes yeah, seems nice enough right let's get it on the wrist i think and there it is then on my seven and a quarter inch ish wrist um yeah looks nice enough doesn't it good size um nice and comfortable good weight distribution this strap is very very soft i've not had to fiddle around with it actually to um, get it to conform to my wrist um but yeah i think on paper it's supposed to be 38 and a half millimeters but it wears bigger than that i think right guys i'm gonna leave it there thank you as always for watching and um yeah don't forget to check out i like watches in the next couple of months i will be producing full reviews of these watches but it is unlikely i'll get them done prior to the next big aliexpress sale um but hopefully this video has helped all right guys as always massive thank you from me to you for tuning in i appreciate it take care guys look after yourselves you'll see me again very very soon